Hey guys, welcome back to Amanda's Favorites, where I have new videos every week. I do planner reviews as well as share my own personal planning. But today we have one of my planner friend chats in that series. And I am so excited to introduce you to Nina. And she is the founder of Mom Agenda. And you guys know that I have really enjoyed using Mom Agenda this year, but I have done reviews for them for several years. And so many of you have loved Mom Agenda too, and we've chatted about them over the years. And so this is my first time to meet Nina, and I'm really excited to share this interview with you guys and we can all get to know her. So welcome, Nina. Thank you. I'm so happy to be here. All right. We're going to jump right in to our rapid fire, just get to know you questions. Okay. Um, the first one is just introduce yourself. So where you live, your family, as much as you feel comfortable sharing. Okay. So I'm Nina Ristiri. I live in Connecticut, I'm just outside of New York City. And I'm a mom of four kids. They are currently 27, 25, 24, and 20. Um, so I'm an empty nester now. My youngest is a sophomore in college. And, uh, but I'm, you know, I still put their names in my mom agenda every week. <laughs> I love that. Okay. I absolutely love that. Okay. Yes. You are in a stage of life that, you know, I think we all think we look forward to, but then maybe when we start to get there, it's like a hard transition. Um, bittersweet for sure. Yes. That is the right word. That is the right word. Um, okay. What's a favorite place you've lived? Um, my favorite place I've lived is probably the house that we were in when the kids were in grade school down in old Greenwich, Connecticut. And it's like a, it's a part of Greenwich that's really beachy. It's there's, there's like a, a causeway that leads to a park with a beach and the, just the whole vibe of the town is like super beachy and family friendly. You don't have a lot of property. So the kids just, they're always kids outside in the neighborhood. And um, my kids were just outside all the time playing with the other neighborhood kids. They never had shoes on. It was just like super idyllic. And we could walk everywhere, walk to school, walk to town. Oh, that sounds, that sounds amazing. <laughs> okay. It was. Um, what would you do with a day off all to yourself? Um, I would probably like take care of myself, like do all the things that fall by the wayside when you're working and, you know, like I would do an extra long workout and I would make really healthy food from like, you know, really healthy ingredients, you know, and I would, I would read like I, I would just do all the things. Maybe I would nap. Like I would catch up on all the things I I do that make me feel good in my body. That is perfect. Okay, that sounds like my perfect day off too. <laughs> yeah. All right. What's a favorite vacation spot? Oh gosh. Well, there are so many, but um recently we my family, um which includes my children, my children's dad, his wife and her children and all the significant others that are involved. We're like a big blended family. We go on a trip every year. And last June we went to Jackson Hole, Wyoming. It it was so incredible. Like the the scenery the activities, you know, being there in this, I think of it as a ski town, but being there in the summer, we were on horses, we were hiking, you know, we saw bears, you know, like it, we went to the rodeo. It was so cool. So different from, you know, the suburban Connecticut really. And it's the United States. Like it was so cool. Okay. That's awesome. I've never been up anywhere near there. So that is, that's, that's cool to hear. I recommend about. it. Okay. Um, what it, would you say your favorite food right now is? 
Oh, well, I'm Italian, so I, it's, I love pasta. I, I rarely eat it anymore, but I do love it. Okay. I make, I, I cook a lot. I like, you know, I like to cook for my family and, and for myself. And um, yeah, if I, if I could eat with no consequences, I would have pasta every day. I think a lot of us would, <laughs> would do. Okay. What is your favorite season? Oh, that one's easy. My favorite season is the fall. I love the the way the air feels and smells. It's for me, um, the new school year has always felt like the new year. And that's what fall represents to me, like the new beginning, the new year. So yeah. yeah. I relate to that too. Okay. I've loved getting to know you a little bit with those personal questions. Now we're gonna jump into some questions about Mom Agenda. Um, so what year did you start Mom Agenda? I started it in 2005. So in May, it will be 19 years. Wow, wow. That that seems like a long time for a planner company. Well, you know what's funny? Around. What's funny is that in 2005, there were not all the planners that we have now. Right. Um, so there were, there was very little competition <laughs> when I first started. Um, so things have changed a lot since then. Um, and a lot of the, a lot, a lot of companies sadly did not, did not make it, you know, companies that started, um, but I, I think it's very positive that there are so many options. There are so many amazing planners out there and, you know, I love visiting your channel and just seeing all, all the different, you know, ways of planning all the different, you know, so I think it's, it's a very good step in the right direction that there are more planners. Yeah. Yeah. That's great to hear from you. Okay. Was this planner company like brewing in your mind for a few years or was it just like an idea that hit you and then you just acted upon it? So um, I'll tell you the story. I was I was a stay at home mom to four kids under seven, and I had I had run a family business. I had basically inherited a family business in a you know before I had kids, so I knew how to run a business. And then I sold that, and I decided to be a stay at home mom. And the whole time I was a stay at home mom, it was about six years. I was kind of thinking like, what's my business going to be? I'm going to start my own business. Um, and I had a million ideas and I would, I would run them by my then husband. He'd be like, eh, it's okay. You know? And one night I had a dream and I dreamed I was in a bookstore. I love bookstores. Mm -hmm. And I was in front of a, a, like a shelving and it was all wedding planners and like all different varieties of wedding planners. And I woke up thinking, you know, what's funny, like as I embark on my day as a mom of four kids under seven, <laughs> why aren't there 8 million wedding planners for a person to plan one day in their life? But there is no planner for a mom to plan every day. You know, it's every day we're putting on this major production. <laughs> And um, as all your viewers know, and so I ran that one by my then husband and he's like, you know, I think that's a pretty good idea. You should look into that. So uh, I was thinking about starting a business, but that idea kind of, it came from a, from a dream actually. That is so interesting how, how that idea came from your dream. Okay. Yeah. That's, that's awesome. And do you feel like from when you got the idea, you know, did you act on it quickly or did, was it like kind of brewing for quite a while before you did something about it? I, right away, I got to work. So the first thing I said was, okay, I've got to see if there's anything else out there that's specifically for moms. So I went to the stationery store, nothing. I went to Staples and they actually did have a planner for moms. But it was like, um, it had like little bunnies on it, like little cartoon, you know, like it, it was so like, 
this is what we think of moms. We think, you know, I, I don't, I can't even talk about it. It's so upsetting. So I, <laughs> I was like, there's stuff for moms, but it's not chic and elegant. And there are chic and elegant planners, but they're not for moms. So I could combine those two things and make something chic and elegant that is for moms. So that moms, you know, even though we have babies, we still want to feel like we have nice accessories and nice, you know, nice things. So, and it's almost insulting that companies never recognize, you know, big companies never recognized that before. So it took me from, from when I realized that it took me nine months coincidentally. So it was like my fifth baby. <laughs> I, I started, you know, researching, I started interviewing people, talking to every mom I knew, or just saw on the street, I would ask questions, what would you want in a planner? What would you want in a planner? Do you, do you want solid colors or patterns? You know, so just research, research, research. And um, nine months later, I went to the stationary show, the national stationary show at the Javits Center in New York City. And my manufacturer had given me a little corner of his booth. And uh, I I had 6,000 units. I had 6,000 planners. And in three days, they were gone. They were all sold out. Wow. Just at that show. Just at that show, which was to the trade. It was, so it was stores buying them. Okay. Okay. Wow. So, so you knew so you would get on something. Then. then I knew I had hit on something because up until then it was like, you know, I might be just wasting my time and money. Like it might not have legs. Um, so that was really reinforcement of the idea and the execution. Okay. Wow. Are you sold in stores today or is it only online? Um, we're sold in stores. Not that many at this point, you know, it's, it's gradually, you know, when we first started in 2005, e-commerce was barely a thing. Yeah. Yeah. Stores were really the only way to sell your product and it's slowly shifted. Right. Right. Okay. I love hearing that story. All right. What are the most, what would you say are the most stressful parts of running a growing planner company over all these years and the most rewarding parts? Um, it was stressful growing the company when my kids were, were little for sure. Um, you know, and I had that mom guilt that we all, all of us who are moms experience, which is when you're at work, you feel guilty that you're not with your kids. And when you're with your kids, you feel guilty that you're not at work. Um, and I felt like, uh, I wasn't doing my best at either thing you know so that that was kind of the trade-off um to you know I wanted to be a working mom but I I purposefully said I'm not going to turn this into a huge company because I never want to stop being the mom that I want to be you know I, I want to pick up my kids from school every day I don't want to go on trips and have them be you know like that's great for some people that's not what I wanted um so, so that was frustrating, that guilt, um, and rewarding, you know, what's rewarding is, uh, like, I still get a little thrill. Like when I look at the orders coming in and like all these people, I like, they don't know me. It's not like my cousin who's doing me a favor, <laughs> you know, all these people buying planners and, I'm, and I read the reviews and people saying it's really helping them. And that is, that makes me feel so good, you know, that it's actually helping women, you know, cause it is so hard to raise kids and manage your schedule and their schedule. It's, it's hard. And the idea that my little products are actually making a difference, it, it's very rewarding. I can imagine, yeah. Just to know, I mean, for sure, how many women that your planner has helped over the years is, you have no idea, thousands and thousands. Okay, when do you start designing for the next year's planner? 
Um, we start designing in early summer. Okay. Like, or late spring, early summer. Okay. So May, June. Okay. And um, which planner are you using right now? So I'm using right now the Mom Agenda desktop, which this was our original core product. Okay. I tried them all. I always come back to this one. Okay. I, I, I dabble with all the different ones and I, I end up with it. This is, this one is just the right size for me, the right construction for me. Yeah. That's my favorite too. <laughs> oh, thanks. <laughs> yes. Okay. What is your planner routine? So like, when do you have a routine of when you sit and look at your whole week, like generally, or is it just ongoing that you're checking it every day? So what is like your planner routine? Um, well, for starters, I always carve out time on a Sunday afternoon to just like look at my whole week and write in my, you know, like my meal plan and my exercise plans and just anything I need to remember, you know, a to-do list um, anything that the kids are up to that I want to remember. So I'll just, I'll just kind of fill it out in on a Sunday, but when I'm sitting at my desk and working, it is always open in front of me. Okay. Like I, I put it on my desk. I have my, my, my keyboard here and my planner in front of it. So there's something comforting to me about being able to see, okay. I've got control over what's happening today. I know what's happening. You yeah. So it's, it's always, it's always in my line of vision. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That is the same with me too. Okay. Do you have any, like a favorite pen that you use in your planner? Are you like, this is my favorite pen or do you just pick up any pen? So any favorite pens or highlighters? I'm very picky about pens as I know many of us are. Yeah, in this community. I like the um this is the Energel 0.7. It's like so smooth. You know, you don't have to make any effort to you know, it just glides over the page. Yes. Um and I use Sharpies a lot. I love Sharpies. Like that's if I need a marker, I'm using a Sharpie. Okay. <laughs> And, Intergel um, is one of my favorites too. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. The other one I like is the pilot. This is also the, the G2. Yes. Yes. This one's very good too. I know they're not like fancy special pens, but these are the only pens I use and I buy them in bulk. So I love I it. Always, yeah. And, and you're blue. I don't you're, use I was going to say, know. you're partial to blue. I can tell. Yes. Okay. Yes. I love that. All right. Thinking back, can you remember like your first planner in life um, or somewhere around there, like the first planner that you remember getting? Yeah. Um, in seventh grade, I got the, um, it was like an assignment book. I, you know, just an inexpensive, um, like at a glance type, you know, office supply store. And I was, I was just as religious with it as I am with my mom agenda now. You know, I I would write English and underline it, and then put the assignment, math and underline it, and put the, like it was it was a little nuts. Like, I I looked I save all my planners and I looked at it recently and I I was like man I was like psychotic you know it was so neat and organized. So that was my first like experience of planning. But then my first like real planner was when I was 17. I was a senior in high school and my mother bought me a Filofax, which was very expensive and beautiful. It was like black grained leather. I still have that too. It's, and I, you know, I, it was one of my favorite gifts. And then every year when my mother was alive, she would get me a new planner because she knew that planners were like my, 
my favorite that I love. I've always just loved them. Wow. It was written in the cards then. I mean, from the beginning, <laughs> it sounds like. It and was. I can't believe you saved your planner from all the way back then. That is amazing too. That I love my planners. And, you know, one of the reasons I designed Mom Agenda the way I did is uh, in the book bound is that so that it was savable, you know, something you could look back on your kids' lives and your life and, you know, who was he playing with or what classes was she taking or, you know, I think it's important to save that stuff for me. It is. And, you know, it's like a photo album, but in written form. So true. Our lives are really written on the pages of our planners. Yeah. That's one reason why I never did the digital thing, you know, it's because it's, it's just gone after, you know, it's not like a written record. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we're here. We're team paper. Here. Yeah. <laughs> um, what were some of the things, so when you were starting Mom Agenda, you said you were like asking all the, you know, everyone you knew, what, what do you want in a planner? What would you like to see in a planner? So what were some of the things that you felt like, like might've been missing in other planners that you were like, I have to make sure to have in Mom Agenda? I know you said being, you know, being sophisticated and not all, you know, cutesy, cutesy or childlike, you know, looking for us. But what were some of the other things that you were like, the, this is missing at that time? So I I wanted it to, I under, I understood the demographic that I was, um, that I was talking to, which was moms. And I understood because I was part of that demographic, what we need and needed and so i wanted to i wanted to design it around those needs so have it be really not just beautiful but also really functional specifically for a mom's life so i spent a lot of time on the layout for example that that was that was the key really is how am i going to design this weekly layout so that it actually is something that is going to help moms rather than just, you know, a regular planner and you just stamp the name mom agenda on it. Right. You know, I, right. I wanted it to really be unique and different. Um, and I knew it was going to be separate spaces for the kids, but I, I wasn't sure how to make it work until I realized that if mom had the top half and the kids had the bottom half, there's a nice symmetry and balance to that. Um, and I just knew, you, you know, like I was playing around, I was like sketching various layouts. And when I came up with this one, it was like, this is it. Yeah. You know, it, it was just that, that knowing. Um, so in addition to that, it was, you know, what else do I always need? the phone number of the doctor's office or <clears throat> so-and-so's birthday or, you know, notes from the PTA meeting, all the things that I felt that I needed and that I confirmed with other moms they needed. That's what I included. Oh, awesome. I love that. Okay. To wrap us up, Share with us any morning routines or evening routines that you follow, any tips or tricks in those category times of day. Um, well, like a morning routine for me is I get up, I make the bed, you know, I always do my skincare routine as soon as I get out of bed and brush my teeth because I just, it wakes me up and I have my coffee I check email, Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, make sure there are no emergencies, <laughs> you know, the website, make sure everything's running. And then I, I like to spend the first hour of the day, just like easing into the day. Like I need to have a morning. I know some people can just get up and work out or get up and jump right in. I need to like sit and drink my coffee and like get 
acclimated to being awake. So that's kind of my routine. And then I'm actually working, sitting down and working by like 8, 8.30. Um, you know, it's changed a lot since the kids were home. Yeah, yeah, totally. It, now you're in the time of your life that you can take, you know, you do get that hour in the morning. <laughs> it's life-changing. <laughs> Okay. Well, thank you so much, Nina, for joining us today. I really loved getting to know you. It's really nice when you put a face and you get to know the personality of the person who is making the planner. And so I always love to be able to do these interviews and, and share that with everybody. So oh, thanks so, so much. Fun. Thank you for having me. Take care of yourselves guys. So you can take care of others and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.